Hello everyone. Welcome to Udu for Beginners. Today in this session we are going to discuss Udu's most powerful module that answer that help you to answer any question of any of our business. Is my project actually profitable? But here using the concept of analytic account we can track the cost and revenue of that project. So we can find that our project is in profit or in loss. So without wasting the time, let's jump to the database. Let's understand the use case and let's try to demonstrate with Udo's standard features. That is my analytic accounts. Okay. So now use case is that we are delivering the website development services, but that we are delivering with that fixed cost. But after successfully deploying this project to customer, we want to find that what's the revenue behind that. So how we can find that? Let's cover it by the step one step. So step number one, just I'm going to use the concept of project template that I'm going to link with that product. So first I'm going to create that product template, project template. This is my website development. So let me open this project. This is project is my website development. This is my project template here and the four tasks that my already predefined. This is design, development, testing and deployment. These four tasks are there and these are the dependent on each other. If the design will be done, then the development will be started. This is my step number one. My step number two is creation of product itself. My product is website development services. This is the fixed cost. This is one lakhs per unit. We are delivering this project with that one lakhs. Okay. This is the things. Everything is here. Now I'm going to link that project template website development with this product itself and here you can see that the invoicing policy is here and this is very important create on order as a project so sell order confirmation will create the project using the template of this project template now all done we are doing the step number three this is my sales order confirmation so here let's consider my customer is let's consider customer one is there here my product is the website Development services we are delivering with one unit, one lakh with the confirmations of okay. Now here you can see that project is created and in that the four task is created. If I'm going to click on that project, here you can see that this is my website development. We can assign the now name for that project also. Now thing is that now here project manager is here. Now we can plan this project for this. Let me make it for the one week only. Okay. Now this is for my 10 to 17 for one week. Now here tag we want to apply and this allocated time we are just going to apply this for 40. Okay. This is the 40 hours task, 40 hours project. Now think is that after that here you can see that the four tasks that we have already predefined is created automatically. First design is that, development is that, testing is that and, and deployment is that. Here you can see this is the Udo's new latest feature in the 18. If I will tick on that and here if you want to find the timesheets, sales order, invoice, purchase order, vendor bill, that analytic items, dashboard. So everything will be on one page. So here you can find the dashboard of that project also and time sheets and tasks all are linked with this window. Now here thing is that just I am going to my project is created. Now the sales order my first task will be the create the invoice. So I am just going to create the regular invoice and that is going to confirm. So here first thing is that one lakh revenue is booked with this project itself. How we can find that? As here you can see that the analytic account as we confirm the sales order here you can see that that my analytic account is created automatically and everything will be linked with this analytic account. So here if I will go to my dashboard in the project itself I will go to the my dashboard here you can see that this is my booked for my particular this project okay 100 thousand ten thousand one lakh okay now first thing is my revenue is booked for that one lakh now what we want to find what the cost will be behind with this project itself here you can see that the four tasks are already predefined i'm going to assign this design task to my assignee which is my design team i'm going to give the needless hours of that ten or five 
okay now thing is that i'm going to design allotted the design task now the deployment will be there so here second task will be the development which is regarding with that 15 hours okay now third that i'm going to do with that development team third will be the my testing will be there for that i'm just assigning that five and assign is my test team and the last one will be my fourth one which is my deployment this is my again with the development team and this is for my 10 hours okay now i have assigned those tasks and already mentioned those times for that particular task now this steps is clear now what happens those tasks will be assigned to your employees employees will do their work and they will fill the time sheet again this task so let's do that here again this is my first task here you can see that everything is looked into my dashboard my first task is designed so what the team will be do they will start the work they will add the time sheets designing of website okay now she has booked the five hours now here we have just booked it now most important thing is that how the Uru will count the cost for this task so here this is the most important feature in the employee I have already said if I will open the employees in the employees itself here in the settings you can find this hourly cost I have already mentioned that for the design team the hourly cost is 200 for development team this early cost is a 250 here i have just mentioned that's name as a team but this is not for the team efforts this is for that particularly user efforts okay this is for my next one testing team and this is for my project manager so udo will count the hours count the cost from this setting step now designing will be there so it's task is five i'm just going to make it as a done now let's check the project dashboard so for that let me go to the cells order in the cells order we can find from that our project also so if i will look into the project we can find those status from the dashboard also otherwise we can go to the task in task we can dashboard okay so here you can see that revenue is booked now just design team has filled hours against that time sheet so here you can see that the expected this is already booked for against that task now again one more task is that after design the development will be there we have provided the 15 hours what happens development team will do the development and record the hours for that here just the team has spent the 13 hours so Udu will Udu will book the cost for those 13 hours only okay so let's check on that our dashboards here dashboard is there just let me reload so here you can see that now think is that if you have look into that here you can see that for this is my development team that 13 hours book and for my design team the 5 hours are book okay now let's do the next thing that is my testing is testing is there we have allocated the timing so here the testing team will do and here testing done now booked is my 5 hours and just we are going to make it the turn and uh, we will look into the dashboard later and the deployment will be there and the here again will be for, for the development team deployment and this is for again 10 hours and just we are going to make it as a done now let me make it as in progress done so we can find the progress actually and if i will look into the my time sheets the time sheet we will go to my dashboard also we can find using the two way now again let me go to my project this is my first way the dashboard itself along with that we can find the task in the task we have linked that dashboard so here you can see that the actually cost behind that time sheet is 9000 uh, we can look into that here you can see that all will be recorded over here 5 10 5 13 total we have spent the 13 hours and it will be multiplied with this five hours will be multiplied with the actually cost of that employee so everything will be looked here so now again we will look into the dashboard itself okay let me go to the dashboard so here our revenue till now revenue is one lakh 
okay and the total cost is the 9000 now this is the thing this is the cost associated with that time sheet for the efforts of that employee now along with that let's consider we need the freelancer we need the consultation services for for our this website design so what we are going to do we are going to hire our any freelancer any consultant and providing the and ask him to share her or his services so what we are going to do we are going to create the vendor bill for that and if we are going to do that so if the vendor will be freelance law, the services will be my consultancy services again it will be more costly for us for the 10,000 okay so here thing is that here and here you can see that analytic account is linked automatically as i'm just going to create the vendor wheel from that dashboard itself okay and i'm going to put the date for today that was and we are just going to confirm it so now let's check the dashboard so if i will go to the dashboard itself here you can see that the total cost is 19,000. this is 10,000 is for vendor bill and 9,000 for that timesheet cost now this is the thing that that expense is again link with that analytic account now along with that of course we have purchased the user license for that so now what we are going to do we are going to just create one more bill for that as my purchasing the bill for that let's consider i'm just giving any name and of one okay and now here i think is that label that user census user license now this will be for here you can see that the analytic account is linked and for that we have just paid that 4000 okay now think is that and just we are going to confirm that now let's check the our dashboard so now dashboard is that here you can see that the 10000 is expected 9000 is belong with my timesheet cost that filled by my employees this is here you can see that the 14,000 bills are there. If I will look into that, here you can see that two bills are linked with that. My 4,000 for that user license and 10,000 for that freelancer. So everything is combined and my total revenue is 77,000. So here you can find that the my project is in profit. So this is the simple. If we want to find the project profitability, just use the concept of analytic account. Okay, you can link that analytic account will be linked with that invoice, that bills and if everything will be linked, we can find those things in one step. Here we have that analytic items also and just let me go to that analytic items for that. This is my analytic items and here everything is combined. We can find each, each line right here. So you can try from your side, find the profitability of your project and let me know if you are stuck somewhere. We are here to help you. Thank you.